we are now going to look at a very special case of rational expression, and that is where the numerator is the opposite of the denominator. And so what we're talking about is something of the form b minus a over a minus b. And if you notice, they both have a b and an a, and they both have a minus sign. But in this case, the b is first and the a is second. And here, the a is first and the b is second. Well, by using factoring, I can factor out at minus 1 here, or I can rewrite it first to see it, minus a plus b over a minus b. Now, the a's line up and the b's line up, so I can factor out a negative to leave a positive a and a negative b. And on bottom, we have an a minus b. Now we recognize that we have the same factor on top and on bottom, and so this becomes a minus 1. So, as a case in point, Suppose we have the rational expression x minus 3 times x plus 2 over 3 minus x times 2x. If we look closely, we can recognize that x minus 3 and 3 minus x are opposites. The sign is still a negative between them, but the x's are swapped and the 3's are swapped. If we see this, we can divide these out so long as we leave behind a negative 1. And so as we write our answer, we can leave our answer just like this. We can leave it in factored form. It's also acceptable to distribute it, but in general, I like to leave my answer in factored form because then we can do something else with it, like solve an equation or something like that.